before I start with the lecture, last time there was a question about one question in the exam regarding the gas turbine. How do we know which is which T1, T2, T3, T4? What I want to tell you, these formulas which we are giving you, by the way, all the formulas you will see even in the final exam, all of them can be summarized only in one page. If you don't know what is meant by each parameter, this formula sheet will mean nothing for you. If somebody is thinking that this for formula which are given will make things easy, no. Well, I'm sure that who studied will, he will not need this formula sheet. So uh, please try to understand the physical meaning of each parameters so that even if there are tricks in the question, you will be able to solve them. Now I will answer the question and after that we'll see how we will do these things. This is the question that was in the exam. Information given are outlet temperature from compressor, inlet temperature to the turbine. These things are yani, very easy understood from so many things. One of them is the schematic diagram of the cycle. Remember that for both steam turbine and for gas turbine there is a simple cycle. Rankine cycle here, Breton cycle here, simple four components in this cycle. And the numbers are shown on this cycle, one, two, three, four. Again, in the entropy temperature, it's there. In the PV diagram, it's there. So this is the schematic which you have it in your lectures. It's clear here, one, two, three, four. And the diagrams also one, two, three, four. So when we say the inlet temperature to compressor, for example, it's one. Outlet temperature from the compressor, it's two. Inlet temperature to turbine is three. Outlet temperature from turbine is four. Based on this, I think there is no difficulty in figuring out which is which. Aside from the textbook, this was also for the same in the other question it was given in the exam, which is showing one, two, three, four. So whenever you see, for example, output temperature of the compressor, it's two. Inlet temperature to turbine, three. Outlet temperature from turbine, it's four. This was also given in the exam. Now, that one was for the gas turbine. If we switch back to the steam turbine, efficiency is given by this formula. In this formula for the efficiency of steam turbine, T1 and T2 are given, should be substituted in what? Degrees Celsius or Kelvin or which unit we shall use for T1 and T2. It's clear in Kelvin, if you remember when we saw we saw examples, we substituted T1 and T2 in Kelvin. So if you used, for example here, degrees, the number are given for you in degrees, you will have a wrong answer. So this is in Kelvin. This is the efficiency of the gas turbine. Here T1, T2, T3, T4 are in what degrees Celsius or Kelvin. I will repeat that again. Here the question which was given in the exam for the gas turbine and it was mentioned that the outlet temperature from the compressor is 200 degrees inlet temperature to the turbine is 1000 the question was how do we know which is which if you study the cycle Breton cycle or we call it joule cycle if you saw the PV diagram the TS diagram any of them will show you the numbers one two three four when we say one there it's t1 at two it's t2 three it's t3 at four it's t4 so if i say for example the inlet temperature to the turbine it's t3 outlet temperature of the turbine it's four 
outlet temperature of compressor it's 2 inlet temperature to the compressor it's T1 outlet temperature of the combustion chamber it's T3 same as it's the same as the inlet temperature to the turbine outlet temperature of the combustion chamber is the same as the inlet temperature to the turbine so it's T3 inlet temperature to the combustion chamber it's T2 it's the same as the outlet temperature the outlet temperature of the compressor will go to the combustion so here at 2 it's T2 is this clear okay back to the question we said here for this this is the efficiency of the steam turbine T1 and T2 shall be substituted in Kelvin next for the same question that you have you shall substitute in Kelvin or in Celsius question for all A question for everybody shall we substitute here in this efficiency of the gas turbine for T1 up to T4 in Kelvin or in Celsius anyways see here I told you always use the engineering sense here it doesn't matter for you whether you substitute in Kelvin or in Celsius the same because for each what do we how do we convert to Kelvin we'll add 273 if you add here because you have two temperature you will add it here you will subtract it here so for this equation it makes no difference for you whether you use Kelvin or Celsius is this clear okay very good here does it make a difference for you I mean if you have this in the exam substitute whatever you want but there it has to be in Kelvin because we have only two temperatures up and down if we substitute it in Celsius we'll get the wrong answer here put Kelvin put Celsius we'll get the same because what you add you will subtract it again last time we stopped at this point an example for the line inductance example well, I'm repeating for you we'll be having so many examples after completion examples for so many different type of conductors single phase conductor three phase conductor group of conductors together double circuit bundled conductor and don't worry things are very simple formula will be given to you and you will see that all of these things no exception will be summed up in one simple formula can be applied generally to any question when it comes to the capacitance after that the same procedure will change the conductor from single to multi to bundle to but the, at the end we'll be having similar formula the only thing that just understand the physics of what is meant by inductance reactance capacitance and even after completion of this chapter I'm planning to solve so many examples for you of different type problem solving with multiple choice the things which are coming in the exam just try to understand don't memorize don't memorize anything for the time after we complete I will I even I, I will sum up all the in this chapter formulas for you in a simple manner so that you will be use it easily when you solve the problem this question is giving us calculate the reactance for a balanced three phase 60 hertz transmission line with a conductor geometry of an equilateral triangle with d equal 5 meter r the radius is 1.24 centimeter rook conductor and length of five miles now regarding what is given here in the text for you rook conductor rook conductor is a name given to the conductors in transmission line aluminium conductors based on their sizes they are giving names so when you say when you want for example one conductor with 1.24 radius you will order it as rook conductor and this is given in there is a book for that code was for overhead aluminium conductor we will find so many type like dove rook Osprey, hen, whatever, each name has its own size. This is only for information, nothing more. Just because that you saw a rook conductor, you have nothing to care about this thing. Now this is the geometry of our uh, transmission line. 
three conductor, equilateral triangle, the distance is D, and the radius of the conductor is R. We want to evaluate the inductance of this transmission line. Remember the formula that we used earlier for flux linkage. We always remember that we are talking about inductance. The definition of inductance is the flux linkage divided by the current. You get the flux linkage divided by the current, you, you will obtain the inductance. Well, this was given before. It's mu naught over 2 pi. We'll take each current with its, and now we are focusing on A, phase A. We want to see the inductance of phase A. One, the first term is, it's the self distance of the conductor A. So we'll be using uh, R dash. R dash is the same as the radius of the conductor multiplied by E to the minus one over four. We did this, we put it as R dash to simplify. It's only mathematical thing. You remember we obtained the term for the internal inductance. It was mu over eight by and we put it as 1 over 4 plus the other, the external one, to group them together to get R dash. So whenever you see R dash, R dash is the radius multiplied by E to the minus 4. This will be given even in the formula sheet for R dash. So this is for the phase A self-inductance. It has also inductance from phase B and again it's IB, the current in IB, we are talking about the flux linkage, lambda. So lambda will have I, the current in it. When we divide the lambda by I, we'll get the inductance. Lin 1 over D. Same thing for the reaction of conductor C on A. And these are the inductances related to A self one from the same radius from the radius of the conductor and the two others based on the distance they are from the conductor we have d here given in the question five meter and r dash the conductor size given as 1.24 centimeter uh, also always remember to focus on the units we we'll multiply by 10 to the minus 2 to convert it to meter this multiplied by e to the minus 1 over 4 this is r dash so we have D and we have R dash. Remember, we said that we are dealing with balanced system, balanced system. In balanced system, IA plus IB plus IC equals zero. So we can put it as minus B minus IC. Why? Because if you see that last two terms, we have ln one over D. If you take it as a common factor, it will be multiplied by IB plus IC. So IB plus IC, I can put it like minus A, the same thing. Now we'll substitute this. See here, the only thing that the last two terms, lin IB, IC, the common factor lin one over D, I sum them plus IA, IB plus IC. IB plus IC equals minus IA. So we are coming to this one. Again, you have here, IA is common. You take it out and lin A minus lin B mathematical equals lin A over B. So I take the IA out and I will be having lin 1 over R dash minus lin 1 over D. Minus means lin A minus lin B means lin A over lin B. So when you divide over 1 over 1D, it will come up. This is the equation that you will get. Simplification based on the balanced three-phase system. Substitute now. We you know mu naught is four by multiplied by ten to the minus seven, two by the denominator now. Then d is five. R dash is there. So you will get this as Henry per meter. Remember or our deviation based on per meter length of the transmission line. Even again, the data sheets from the manufacturer 
they will give these parameters in the resistance inductance and capacitance as per meter so this is the la inductance of phase a if you want to convert to the actance you just multiply it by omega which is 2 by f system frequency is given 60 hertz so 2 by f 2 by 60 by 1 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 which will give you now it will be as ohm per meter you can change it to mile because it's given as 5 mile in the question so I will get the reactance as ohm per mile multiplied by the length of the transition line to get the total reactance it will be given in ohm 3.79 ohm next subject is again we are in the same direction for the inductance before I switch to the conductor bundling is the example clear or should, should I repeat anything in that is the just example which is just explained is, is it clear before I continue is the example clear or is there any question okay I will repeat the example example is asking for the inductance of the line information given is its balanced three phase system which is important information for me as you will see in the simplification its balanced three phase system the 60 hertz is important for me to calculate the reactance because the reactance is related to the inductance by omega which is 2 by f I will be using the 60 in for the f transmission lines can have different geometries maybe they will be straight the, in the horizontal maybe they were you saw this so many power lines some of them horizontal some vertical some equilateral triangle some like square this is equilateral triangle equal sides of a triangle each one of them is 5 meter the conductor size is 1.24 centimeter with this conductor they call it rook conductor because normally in aluminium conductors for transmission line they are giving names to distinguish one size from the another if you want to order it you will order it by a name and this is given there is this book may be more around 100 pages for these conductors you, that you will see each conductor with its specification this is only information just to see that why we say rope conductor the length of the transition line is 5 miles our aim is to find the inductance uh, the reactance of the transmission line so, so this is the geometry three conductors equilateral triangle d is equal between them five meter radius is 1.24 centimeter reactance formula you remember that when we studied the reactance we take one example for the internal inductance where we take x inside the conductor and we come with the expression for the internal inductance and also the external inductance we saw that for the internal inductance it's related to the there is two parts one related to the conductor itself if I'm studying a conductor for example this a has inductance generated inside it by itself related to the radius of this conductor and two others from the two other conductors based on the distance the spacing between these conductors and this conductor I'm only focusing on conductor A so the first term all of them will be you know it, over 2 by first term will be IA now the conductor itself by the radius 1 over R dash R dash is E to the minus fourth multiplied by R this was in the last lecture we is only mathematical simplification for other conductors it will be IB for example with ln 1 over d the distance for the c conductor is ic 
multiplied by ln 1 over d, the same distance. Now, this is the equation which shows the inductance of phase A based on its own dimension and the dimension of the other conductors. The first part is related to the conductor itself, the two other parts are related to the two other conductors. Now, if you look at the two last two terms, IB ln 1 over D plus IC ln over 1D, if I take ln 1 over D as common factor, it will be multiplied by IB plus IC. If we, it's mentioned that it's balanced three phase, so IB plus IC should equal minus IA because IA plus IB plus IC in a balanced system, as we saw last lecture, it's zero. So I can do this to simplify that. It's only simplification. If I substitute by this, I replaced IB plus IC with minus A, based on the th uh, balanced three-phase system. In this equation, which I get now, I have also IA common. I will take IA outside, and I will be having lin A minus lin B. Lin A minus lin B equal lin A over lin B. Like if you have lin A plus lin B, it will be their multiplication, lin AB. Here I have minus sign, so mathematically it's lin, the first term, over the second term. As if you are dividing 1 over R dash, divided by 1 over D, so D will come up and it will be like this. Now this is lambda, this is the flux linkage. If you divide it by the current, always the, the inductance of the transmission line of the electrical conductor, this inductance is by definition is the flux, flux linkage, which is lambda divided by the current. So I divide by current, I get the inductance. I remove the IA. Now, all the terms here are known for me. Mu naught is 4 by times 10 to the minus 7. 2 by is known. D is given 5 meter. And R dash, I multiply E to the minus 1 over 4 by the radius, which is 1.24. 1.24, I have to catch the units, multiply by 10 to the minus 2 to convert this centimeter to meter. Simple. So I will be getting the inductance in Henry per meter. Now, I want the reactance. The reactance is omega multiplied by the inductance. Omega is 2 by F. F is given 60 hertz. I can get X. Well, <coughs> if I can get X, I can get it as ohm per, per meter. Then I will convert to mile because the length of the transition line is given in mile. So I, if I multiply this 0.768 by 5 mile, I will get the reactance of the transmission line 3.79 ohm. Is, is it clear now? Okay, now conductor bundling. If you remember, we discussed how bundling of conductor will increase the radius, will reduce the induct. We, we thought we, we discussed this theoretically. Now we'll see by after we have given the formula for the inductance, we can see mathematically how this is correct or not when we bundle the conductor, bundling the conductors means connecting the, instead of using one conductor, I will use two or three or four, put them in bundle, a spacer, which will link them together. And this will increase the, let's say the geometrical radius of this conductor by using two, three, four, or instead of one conductor.
this is dependent on the normally the voltage rating of the transmission line so when you have like 345 kilovolt they are normally using two conductors for the 500 kilovolt they are using three for 765 they are using four and so on normally in this range why because this is always related to the spacing all what we are doing for the inductance calculation is related to the geometrical dimensions radius of the conductor or the spacing between the conductors so when you go higher with the voltage you are obliged to increase the distance between the conductors to keep the isolation so for this there are different number of the conductors in the bundle based on the voltage rating of the transmission line the last example that you saw was exactly this one it was three conductors the transmission line in equilateral triangle is spaced by a distance now instead of using one conductor for each one we'll be using four conductors in the bundle we replace each conductor by four conductors again maybe this will be long mathematical calculation but this, the, the principle is very simple and it will be generalized for any number of conductors that you want now this current that we just discussed for the previous example in phase A which is IA will be distributed on four conductors we can assume that each one of these wires inside the bundle will have one quarter one fourth of the phase current so each wire in this bundle will have this much current in it we want to study how to calculate the reactance of this type of transmission line this one is exactly the same as the first one remember that it's only mathematical imagination of the distribution of the conductor and trying to find an equivalent radius or equivalent distance the same principle the same formula it's the same exactly as before the only thing that r is different we said that when we use more than one conductor in the bundle we'll be as be increasing the radius and based on this we'll having now equivalent dimensions for the for each conductor for each let's say for each wire in the bundle you have as we said one fourth of the phase current dealing with number one only now because if you get for wire number one it will be generalized for all the conductors so for number one before you remember the first part was related to the r dash the radius of this conductor now the radius of this bundle it's more it's related to the distance between wires inside the bundle we will follow them one by one now first one is this one the wire itself number one one over r dash second one will be between one and two see here we are measuring the distance between the wire the wire inside the bundle in the first row the, the chain which are multiplied by ia over four is this third one will be this one by this distance fourth one will be this one by this distance these four terms all of them as if you are evaluating the geometrical mean radius of these four wires inside the conductor instead of having only r dash you will do the like this you will take all these distances one to two one to three one to four these are related to the phase i all of them are multiplied by i difference between this and the previous example we have only one conductor if we continue we are taking only we are taking only the wire number one in the bundle of phase a we need to continue now we finish from the conductor itself the phase itself we'll see the distances with the other phases if we continue now to the phase b for example we'll be having one five d one five then d one six d one seven d one eight we are done with phase number b we'll continue to other one 
D19, D110, D111, D112. This long formula where you have 12 terms is the same simple as the first one which has only three terms. It becomes now 12 because we increase the number of the conductors inside the bundle. The same formula, the only thing that is, as we will see now, we will be driving formula which will be very simple. Now, what we mentioned so far is only wire number one and its distance from all other wires. If it's the distance of this wire itself, number one, it's R dash. Then you'll continue D12, D13, D14 till you reach the last conductor. Now, again, as per mathematical, len, len A plus len B plus len C, we said you have multiply them together. So, IA will be multiplied by all these terms, IB by all these terms, IC by all these terms. What we have done, only mathematically, we replaced len A plus len B, that four terms, as the terms multiplied together. We have, we have before four, yani IB or IA, all of them I divided by four. I took the four inside the LIN. If you take it inside the LIN, as if you are dividing by one over four. This is only, again, mathematical. You remember, we can play with the LIN, as we did, for example, with one over four when we want to get R dash. One over four, we replace it by len E to the power of one over four. We said that len E to the power one over four is the same as one over four. Because normally when you have power for the len, you take it outside the len. And when you take one over four outside the len, you will be left with len E, len E is one. So it's only mathematical play with the numbers to get simplified equation now next step I will be as if you see here I collected the first term the distances of the first conductors of the first same conductor D12, D13, D14 are for the same conductor phase A inside the bundle and the others are the distances so as if I, if you compare this with the previous example, which has only one conductor, as if I replaced the radius of this conductor by another radius. I will call it geometrical mean radius, which will be R dash times D12, D13, D14 to the power one over four. Because I have four conductor in the bundle, if I have five, six, eight, B, it will be instead of 1 over 4, 1 over B. Or B is the number, B is the number of the conductors of the wires inside the bundle. So it's very simple now. It's radius, but geometrical main radius because there are so many conductors inside the bundle. So I will, if I have so many conductors, I will get the geometrical main radius. I multiply these distances together and take it to the power or the square root of the pth or nth or kth number of conductors. Second term is related to the distances from phase B. Again, I'm going to get the geometrical mean distance now. That one GMR, this is GMD. That one is radius, this one is distance because I am now, I stepped out from phase A to the other phases. I'm talking about distances now. Again, and you saw the term D15, D16, D17, D18. These terms, second row. If this distance is, uh, of course, it's not exactly D because we are shifting from one to the but since the distance between the conductors inside the bundle are much less than the distance between the phases, I can consider these Ds are equal. Similarly for DC, D1C is the same. 
also I will consider these these are equal though they are not there is little very little difference because the difference is only the dimension inside the bundle it's very less compared to the distance between the two conductors and uh, consequently I consider D is the same if I do this then DAB DAC DBC all of them will be D well, again this is a three phase balance system also I can replace IB plus IC with minus A if I do this I will be having this mu naught over 2 by multiplied by a the first part the first part which I am studying because I am getting the inductance here it will be radius the geometric main radius inside the bundle minus and I, I summed IB plus IC because the D is equal minus IA ln 1 over D now if you take IA as common outside you will be having this formula but IA now I put instead of IA 4 I1 why because if you recall this we said that IA is the total current in phase A each wire is having I over 4 so I over 4, IA over 4 is I1. I will consider it I1. It's related to the conductor or the wire number 1. So I1 is the current in wire number 1, which was IA over 4. So if I want IA itself, I will multiply this by 4. Because I now I'm dealing with all the other wires. So simply I will replace this IA by 4 I1 we will get very simple formula for lambda and if I divide always divide just divide lambda by the current you will get the inductance now it's mu naught over 2 by the same as the conductors by 4 by ln d over r it's the same before it was d over r dash now it's d which is gmd geometric main distance over the geometrical main radius this is only for wire number one but for this phase phase one we have four wires together and consequently if you have four wires together the equivalent impedance of them is you will divide by four we have 4 already within this if you divide by 4 you are getting rid of the 4 till you reach mu naught over 2 by ln d over rb very simple similar to the equation that we got before for single conductor but here it's only mathematical presentation of the distances instead of the distance d I am having geometrical main distance we'll see now we'll solve numerical example how we'll do this and for r the same thing it will always be summarized to this simple formula before we are getting the example before we move to the example on the bundle conductor any question now we'll take an example which will be beautiful example because it will be the same as the previous example but we'll ha be having bundle conductors so we'll see the difference how now mathematically what we are getting as an advantage of the bundle bundling of conductors so for the same previous example same thing five meters between the conductors but now uh, each phase will have four conductors instead of one and in this bundle they are spaced 0.25 meter in 25 centimeter it's the same as a previous example only difference is I'm replacing each conductor by four conductors as bundled conductors well, I want to get the reactors 
this is the geometry of the four conductors in the bundle they are in a square with 0.25 meter between each of them now r is as before one 2.4 centimeter i convert it to meter always remember the units the unit will make a miss in the uh, solving the question so if i multiply this by e to the minus one over four i will get r dash this is the first thing r dash now r b i want the geometrical main radius instead of having one wire i will be having four wires so i will want the new radius the new radius as we said the distances between this conductor inside the bundle i multiply them by each other and take the root the fourth or the pth or the kth root of these distances to get the geometrical main radius only mathematical only mathematical as if you are having a new radius based on this new configuration so remember that it was r dash d12 d13 d14 r dash is known we calculated now we have if you focus on conductor number one you have distance 0.25 between number two 0.25 between number three and you have the diagonal between one and four diagonal you know uh, will be multiplied by square root of two as uh, or by Pythagoras or whatever the di diagonal of 0.25 and 0.25 it will be as you are multiplying by square root of two because it's 45 degrees so you will be getting r dash uh, sorry rb rb the geometrical main radius it's 0.12 meter that one was 1.2 centimeter your red radius of the conduct of the transition line is 10 times when you have the radius 10 times always remember that you are dividing by the you are multiplying by the distance or the line will be up the uh, distance will be up in the line and the radius will be down so if you increase the r you will decrease the inductance this is a big advantage of using bundle for the transmission line conductors we are getting 10 times the previous r dash r now simple formula as before exactly remember where did we reach the only thing that the distance is five instead of that i will be dividing by 0.12 the geometric main radius we see here the inductance decreases okay if you recall the examples that we discussed so far we've used equilateral triangle square for the bundle whatever normally this is not the case maybe you saw power lines you will see them like this one for example they are running horizontal sometimes you will find them vertical if they are vertical the distances between the conductors are not the same there are for example here if i take the right one the left one the uh, distance is different with the conductor in the middle conductor in the middle has always two equal distances with the two others but for the right or the left one it's not the case this is the practical this is the practical thing we have in transmission line so how can we deal with this if we keep this like this it will be a problem for us there will be different inductances for the line different parameters unbalanced voltages so we have to find a solution for that the solution to this is extremely simple 
what we do we use what you call transposition transposition means that for this that one you saw one third of the distance each one third of the distance I will change the position of one conductor to the second position and so on if you take the entire run of the transmission line divide it into three parts and in each part the co each conductor will jump between one location to another so the result that each one of them has given the same chances of distances with the others this is the transposition this simple sketch will showing you what we will do for example take phase a first it will be in position number one then number three then number two and so on each of these conductors will be switched from position to position one third of the distance this will clear and solve the problem of unsymmetry of the dimensions of the transition line this is one practical example of what we will do see for example here the yellow phase is taken from this side to the other side same for the red and same for all of them this can be done also this is for pole can be for towers which with double circuit it's a very simple procedure at certain distances maybe maybe it will be not only one third divided differently but the resultant will be that for the entire run of the transmission line each conductor will have one switch to the three position equally here you can see the physical tower how we are taking the for example the red from that position to that position the yellow and so on okay if we do this what is the impact on the flux linkage see here we'll take lambda a in phase a now the difference is that this phase a has three positions some one times as you saw in the graph it was first in position number one then num position number three then position number two so i will divide the my lambda now the flux linkage into three parts each one of them will be one over three one third one third of the total first one which will be the same r dash will be the same for all of all the rows will have one over r dash but the distances will be different first one it will be the conductor will be d12 d13 this is based on position number one d1 now phase a has distance d1 2 and d1 3 in position number one when it's switched to number three the distances will be different it will be 1 3 d2 3 and in the third one uh, the same procedure the phase a is position two what i did here simply i divided my equation which was before the same as before you see the equator triangle i'll divide them in three parts i will consider in each part each one will be one third the radius of the conductor itself or geometric r dash and the two other distances these two other two distances based on the position of the conductor when it was in position now in one it has the spacing d12 and d13 when it's in position 3 it has d13 and d23 and so on you can follow here see for position 1 you have these i put them in red these two distances then when you switch to the other one you will have the other two distances position number 2 is that one and you can see that they are a different spacing based on the position of the conductor mathematically we explain that ln a plus ln b ln c we can multiply them by each other if we do this i have one ln one over dash in all of them here so i will take i a multiplied by ln one over dash plus i b for the second term then i see by the third term Oh, remember that because it was 
divided on three each term was divided by three I, I took the one over three inside the len as you can see here but for r dash it will be if you take it because it's r dash to the cube to the power three r dash to the power three multiplied by one over three it will be r dash this term will be only r dash for others it will be these distances raised to the power one over three mathematical i took it inside the lin now if i define the geometrical mean distance gmd as these distances to the power one over three I have three phase balance system always I am saying this three phase balance system because I always will replace this IB plus IC by, my, by minus IA if I do this I will be having the flux linkage equal mu naught over 2 by IA lin dm over r dash dm here is the geometrical mean distance we'll see in the example it's how all of this is mathematical equivalent to the physical dimension if i divide by the current i will get the inductance mu naught over 2 by lin dm over r dash mu naught is 4 by multiplied by 10 to the minus 7 if you divide it by 2 by you will get 2 by 10 to the minus 7 lin dm this this is the only thing that you have to know because now you will see it's very easy to get dm and r dash we are coming back again to the simple formula len the geometrical main distance over geometrical main radius now if the conductor is bundled and i remember when the bundle conductor i increase the radius to different radius you remember we increase 10 times in the previous example so instead of r dash i will be using rb instead of the radius i will use the geometrical main radius it's the same equation just replacing r dash for this single conductor for the geometrical the equivalent radius of this bundle we'll have an example but before the example is there any question before i continue with the example is there any question okay good now we'll see the example and you'll see that everything is simple everything is simple this simple formula will be given these formulas the only thing that to set up your mind to how mathematically to get the equivalent distance or equivalent radius of the system if single conductor is simple you have d over r or r dash then more than one conductor bundle conductor each system has its equivalent distance and equivalent distance between conductors and equivalent radius inside the bundle of the conductors so here's the question calculate the pair phase inductance and reactance of a balanced balanced three phase 60 hertz line with horizontal phase spacing now see it's horizontal they are horizontally spaced with 10 meter three conductor bundling with a spacing between conductor in the bundle of 0.3 i am having now three conductor in the bundle with 0.3 they have to be equilateral triangle assume the line is uniformly transposed and the conductors have one centimeter radius this is the geometry of the conductors they are spaced 10 meters and each bundle has three conductors spaced 0.3 meters between them always remember that distance equivalent distance which is the geometrical mean distance is very simple you multiply the distances that you have between the conductors together let's say third root or fourth root or whatever so you have now here three distances between the conductors remember that when we have the position of the conductors you have between one two two three and one three these are three distances two of them are 10 meters and one of them is the 20 meters between the one in the left and the one in the right is 20 meter double the distance and 
between each the conductors inside the spacing is 10 meters so if you multiply this to a power of 1 over 3 we'll get 12.6 meter this 12.6 meter it's basically as dm or gmd geometrical mean distance r r is simple always r, r dash is the radius multiplied by e to the minus 1 over 4 when the question it was given that radius was 1 centimeter 1 centimeter i will multiply it by 10 to the minus 2 to convert it to meter i will be getting finally the r dash equal 0 0.0078 which one this one this is just the sketching what is given in the question the question is telling me the three conductor three phase they are spread 10 space 10 meter 10 meter between the conductors horizontally spaced each conductor has three wires in the bundle spacing between them is 0.3 meter so i'm just here sketching that these are the three lines the three phases in transition line running horizontally same as the figure that we saw before similar to this one they are running horizontally and each phase has three conductors in the bundle spacing is 0.3 meter between these conductors or these wires inside the bundle now in all the examples i will be looking for two things in this inductance example the equivalent distance and equivalent radius equivalent distance is the geometrical main distance that one is geometrical main radius well, this is only mathematical equivalence so we reach a point that the dm or geometrical main distance is based on the last deriv derivation it will you will multiply only the distances that you have between the conductors by each other to the power one over n or b or k where k b n whatever is the number of the distances i have three distances here between one and two two and three and one and three three distance so it will be one over three and then i multiply them by each other two of them are 10 10 the wider one between the left and right one is 20 meter so 10 multiplied by 20 by 10 to the power 1 over 3 equal 12.6 meter as geometrical mean distance r dash we explain it r dash is the radius of the conductor which is 1 centimeter i will convert it to meter multiplying by 10 to the minus 2 by e to the minus 1 over 4 so it will be 0 0.0078 meter i'm done with the geometrical mean distance now i will be looking for geometrical mean radius remember that inside the bundle we said that we will multiply the distances now we are talking about the wires inside the bundle only and take one of these only the three wires inside each bundle i want to replace because each one has a radius and there is distance between them they can be act they can be acting as one conductor with equivalent radius geometrical main radius how to calculate it i want to apply r dash for one of them by the two other distances so rb is r dash for one of them multiplied by 0 0.3 0 0.3 to the power of 1 over 3 this is 0.3 is the spacing between the conductors inside the bundle 
this is general if you have for example four or five or six or whatever you just even you saw in the square you multiply the distance that we take r dash for one of them the one under study then we see how much it is far from the other conductors in the same mountain we multiply each of them together and they will be to the power of one over the number of wires in mountain here i have three it will be one over three if i have four it will be one over four and so on so here it's the geometrical main radius what does this mean means that i can replace the radius for these three conductors by radi equivalent radius well, this is the one well, this is the main advantage of bundling of conductors i'm increasing the radius mathematically i'm getting because the radius is down in the len we have len d over r i'm increasing r so i'm decreasing the inductance bundling is very good procedure to decrease the inductance of the transmission line simple formula the same mu naught over 2 by len equivalent distance equivalent radius geometrical mean distance over geometrical mean radius geometrical mean distance we calculated and we calculate that when we divide them together we'll get the inductance he's asking for the reactance reactance is simply omega multiplied by the inductance omega is 2 by f 0.6 ohm per mile before moving to the next subject is there any, any question regarding the previous example okay good now again this is very simple but because here we have it's not always that when you have two conductors on transmission line they have the same radius and we sh will see the inductance between two single phase conductors each of them having different radius one is r1 one is r2 as you will see we'll be reaching the same formula with some modification the only difference is d over r1 dash for the left one and the other one is r2 dash simple formula but different radius now for the two conductors now r1 r1 is the geometrical main radius why do we say it's the radius now but why, why do we say geometrical main radius to show you that in future examples if i replace this conductor by so many conductor in the bundle three four five it's the same formula the only thing that instead of r1 there will be r capital r b the geometrical radius of the bundle so if i have group of conductors in the left hand side for example still the same equation applied the only thing is radius by radius radius of single conductor by equivalent radius, radius of the conductors in the bundle same thing r2 dash is the geometrical main radius for the other conductor whose spacing between them is geometrical main distance even when you have more conductors here and here there will be different distances it will be reduced you will mathematically calculate geometrical mean distance and get one number which is g and d geometrical mean distance if you sum them together exactly the same thing the same procedure only mathematical representation if we can put it by the way like this we multiply and you see here we multiply two by half as if we are multiplying by one only mathematically to get the two inside the lens only mathematical presentation if you want to keep it as it is no problem you will get the same answer but this is to show you at the end you will be getting four times ten to the minus seven lin d over square root of r1 dash r2 dash if r1 equal r2 you will be having the same exact the same formula before d over r dash so it's if you have two different sides see it's simple here here you can see if r1 equal r2 then you will be uh, going back to the same 
a question before. This example will show you everything. This is a very good example to show you what is meant by the geometry of the conductors. All these questions, these ones and the ones we will solve later and the one we will get in the exam, they are relying on the same formula. Only thing, mathematically, I have to find equivalent distance and equivalent radius. Equivalent distance is geometrical mean radius, uh, means distance, and equivalent radius is geometrical mean radius, GMR. That's the only thing. So let's see this example. This example, good example, it has so many things different conductor sizes, different distances, different everything. It is the total inductance per meter for two circuits that run parallel to each other. One circuit consists of 3.25 centimeter radius conductors. The second circuit consists of 0.5 centimeter radius conductors. You have imagine that you have a tower transmission line and it has two circuits, one of them having three conductors with 0.25 centimeter radius for each conductor, space six meters. Go to the other side of the tower, you'll find only two conductors, space six meter, and they have the radius of 0.5 centimeters. And in this tower you have cross arm, this cross arm is 9 meters, spacing them, these two group of conductors, 9 meters. It's easy to have like mathematical equivalent by considering that we have three conductors here, two conductors here. If I multiply them together, you remember, we want to see how many distances we have, so that we multiply them together and we raise them to the power of 1 over number of distances. This number of distances, the spacings between them, can be easily known by number of here multiplied by the number here. We have three here, two here, you will have six. If you have three here and three here, it will be nine. Three here and four here, it will be twelve. And so on. So we have three in the left and two in the right. We have six spacings. We have six Ds there. I multiply them by each other and take them to the power of 1 over 6 to get the geometrical main distance. See, whatever the, the geometrical layout of the system, it can be simplified easily, by mathematically, by this thing. See here in this, I'm taking the distance between, I'll take, for example, A. On the other side, you have A dash. Let's go back here. See here, A, B, C. A dash B dash. If I take A, I have D A A dash. D A B dash. I finish with this one. I go back, then I have D B A dash. D B B dash. Down D C A dash. D C B dash. These are the distances that I have. You can see them here. Just substitute. By, by, for example, D a, a dash, you can see it's 9 meter, for example. But if I go, for example, D, A, B dash, it's the diagonal. The diagonal of the triangle having 9 meter and 6 meter. If you calculate it, you will get 10 point meter. Uh, for example, D, C, A dash, spacing number 5 under the, the root. D, C, A dash. It's the diagonal of 9 and 12, which is 15 meters. I will get the value of all the spacings and multiply them each, each other to the power of 1 over 6. This is 10.74 as the geometrical mean distance. Extremely simple. Anything not clear for this, for calculating the geometrical mean distance is any, any question? Anybody want me to repeat that? 
Now, I have two things, geometrical mean distance, geometrical mean radius. I will switch to the radius. I want to get the radius. In the distance, as you saw, you are multiplying the number of conductors here. With the number of conductors here, you get the total number of spacing. It's three by two, you have six spacing. You are multiplying six spacing with each other to get the geometrical mean distance. Here, you have the self radius of the conductor. So, you will be as if you squaring the number of conductors because you have R dash for the first wire, then you take the distance with the phase B, the distance with phase C, three. Then you have other three for the other one, three for the other one, as you're getting nine. So here it will be one over three to the power two, one over nine. We have nine spacings. In the distance, we have we had six spacing. Now we have nine spacing. Why nine spacing here? Because we have not like the distance. We have internal spacing, internal radius of the conductor itself. Because I'll take a with a as if when you say r dash, as if you have now, you have a with a. You don't have it before. You have also b with b. You don't have it before. You have c with c. You don't have it before. So you have are having three more spacing three more dimensions here it can be easily by squaring the number of the conductors so now for the geometrical mean radius you have nine spacing if three of them three of them is the r dash which is given 0.25 you multiplied converted to meter multiplied by e to the minus fourth this r dash this as if the self radius of each conductor you have three so they are multiply by each other to the power three second you have for the six meter it, it's coming as four spacing when you say a b you have b c you have b a and you have c b so four spacing are six meters for the 12 you have two of them AC and CA. So you have now nine dimensions, they will be multiplied by each other to the power of one over nine, you will be getting 0.48 one meter. Is the calculation for the geometrical main radius clear or should I repeat it? I will repeat it. To start with, for this geometry, I need to have two main dimensions. My formula is very simple. Same constant outside the line, then the line of equivalent distance, geometrical main distance over geometrical main radius. Geometrical main distance or geometrical main radius. In a very simple format, I multiply all of them together to the power of their number. For example, I have six spacing to be the power of one over six. I have 9, 1 over 9, 4, 1 over 4, and so on. So I have to ha to see how many spacing that I have. How many spacing that I have for both distance and radius. If I start with a geometrical main distance here, I am looking to the distance between the conductor with each other. So if I have two circuits, imagine that this is transmission line, tower, running with two parallel circuits cross arm is nine meter two conductors here and three conductors here so i want to find equivalent distance between all these conductors the simple thing is to do to see how many distances how many spacing i have between them then i multiply them by each other to the power of one over these the number of spacing number of spacing simply for distance I will multiply the number of conductors here with the number of conductors here I have three here because it's the way it should be why because when I come to a I will take a a dash a b dash 
B B A dash B B dash two more C C A dash C B dash two more we have six six I can easily conclude them or simply multiplying the number of conductors here by the number of conductors here I have to have I have to search for six spacings to get them and multiply with them with each other to the power of one over their number the number is six I raise them to the power of one over six so these are the distances that I name these simple distances these simple spacings are here can be seen from here D as example D A A dash D A B dash D B A dash that's what you can see here and you can see them here as this. so when you go D for example let's take them one by one D A A dash is 9 meter so I will substitute 9 meter by D A B dash it's the diagonal of the triangle of 9 and 6 it's 10.8 so D A B dash is now 10.8 so I have 9 multiplied by 10.8 D B A dash it's the same as the diagonal so 10.8 D B B dash you see this B B dash is 9 meter multiply by 9 C A dash C A dash is the diagonal of the 9 and 12 which you can calculate easily with the course 15 meter so I multiplied by 15 by D C B dash if you look at C B dash it's the same as 10.8 and if you multiply all of them together raise them to the power of 1 over 6 or the sixth root of them you will get the total distance geometrical mean distance for the geometrical mean radius the only difference now I'm looking for the spacing between the conductors but now I have in addition to that I have the self radius I have a three three squared is nine three of them is the self radius of each conductor talking now about the group A in the left to get the geometrical mean radius for the group A I will be having these three conductors I will have the self radius then I will take each one with the others A with B as you can see in the second one in the one in the middle B C C B and B A so four spacing as six meters another two is the furthest to get each other C and A you have A C and C A you can practice this later you'll find very easy when you have three conductors and you, you know that it will be nine you easily can figure that nine how nine three of them for the conductors self radius of the conductors and the others you will figure how much spacing between all of them whatever the shape and the geometry if we go to B and the B you can see you have only two so two squared is four you have four spacing four spacing two of them is the radius and you have two distance six meters so you will be getting I, I don't want uh, to take mo more time from you I'll conclude this even if it try to practice if not, if not in the next lecture I will repeat this part uh, we got everything I can get inductance A I can the same thing B I sum together I will be getting the total inductance simple same formula the only thing distance GMD is equal it's the distance between all of them the difference is geometrical mean radius so remember that we can we have we had the simple example R1 dash R2 dash here instead I told you instead of R1 dash R2 dash you have equivalent you have equivalent to that so you will get the inductance of each group then sum together you will get that one 